Hello guys, this is Cassie with King K Special Creations coming to you with my very first Dollar Tree haul. I went, my husband surprised me with a visit to three different Dollar Trees in the Charleston area. So I've got, I've got them separated out by stores, so I'm going to go through them and let you know what I got. Um, hopefully this goes off well. Keep watching. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is the things that we got at the South Charleston Dollar Tree store. It's up in that same place where the Walmart is. I'm sure all the people in Charleston know. But these are the things that I picked up there. Some of the things I haven't been able to find at our local Dollar Tree. Um, we have one in Fayetteville and one in Oak Hill. So, I was pleased to find them. So, we'll get started. First thing, I'm sure this is just about everywhere, but I hadn't seen him in the little blue britches. So I got me a, a sign. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to redo him or use him as a signboard. But there's the very first thing. And then, over the weekend, we had a family reunion, and I bought a big pumpkin. I bought it for my granddaughter and my daughter's uh, significant other's daughter to, de to, to carve for me. Well, I forgot about it, so they went home. So me and Tim went and bought this uh, thing, because I can't carve a pumpkin. And that way I can keep the pumpkin the way it is. You just put it on, it's just a little face kit. And I think, yep, it has the little arms too. So we'll, we'll do that, and then I'll take a picture of it and post it on Instagram and Facebook for you. Next thing I found is these little mesh tubes. I've heard about them several times, but I never thought about picking them up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Might use them as regular rope. Might use them as a garland of some sort, but I got a red, an orange, and a brown. That looks almost looks like this rope, but they were at that store. And the next thing I picked up Excuse me. I'm it's a little sneak peek of what we're going to be doing the next live. Not the one coming up on this Thursday, but the one that will be coming up on the following two week Thursday. Little candy corns. Little picks of candy corns. Then I was able to find two of these carvable pumpkins, which I have not been able to find up here anywhere. I've seen them paint them. I've seen them put candles in the top of them. I've seen them put cloth on it, ribbons. So I thought I'd pick me up a couple and see what I can do with them. And then I got this pumpkin frame, which a lot of people take the stuff off of it and make it into a different pumpkin. I'm not sure whether I'll just hang it up the way it is or whether I'll redo it. But there's what it looks like right now. It could be just used like that. Just hang it up. Then next year, take off the tinsel and redo it. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Um, I picked this pumpkin up. I am going to redo it. I don't like a floppy one like that. So I'll probably put a paint stir stick or a craft stick or something behind it. But I'm going to take this little metal one off that says autumn. And I think I'm going to put a fall uh, wish list or a fall to-do list or whatever. To drink a thing of apple cider, go on a hayride, carve my pumpkin, and then rake, maybe rake some leaves. Maybe make a big pile of leaves. And see, we used to do that when we was kids. Grandma would have us do it. We'd have the biggest pile taller than we are. Jump right in the middle of it. Negated the uh, idea of doing the uh, pumpkin raking. I mean the leaf raking. But we had fun and she let us. So that's a good memory for Grandma Hankins. Then I found these little bales of hay. Little tiny ones. They have littler ones than this. that come six to a package which I have not been able to find. Uh, Tim says that maybe we can order them off of Amazon, and I think he found them there, so we might be going to do that, just to get the little bitty ones. But there's that size. 
Then I was able to find two of the wire jute ropes. I, I can't find them up here. They don't seem to, I don't, they could have them in stock, but when I go there, they could be sold out of them. I'm not sure, but I was able to find those. Um, I got this pumpkin. It's a felt pumpkin, which I seen uh, the lady on Unicorn Dust Designs. Uh, she took this and put it on a piece of foam cord board, which I also got at that store. I got a black one. I'll show you in a bit. I got a white one too. But she just took it and put it on there and then spray painted around it. So that whenever, whatever was spray painted, when she picked it up, the, uh, she like used this as a stencil. So I thought I'd try it, see what it looks like. So, there's those two. Um, I got these as the start of my apple cocoa bar, apple themed cocoa bar. They're little pumpkins, but if you mix them right, They'll look like little apples. Put it in a little crate. And the same thing with these. I'm not sure what these are. They say they're mini pomegranates. But they look like little apples. So that's probably what I'm going to use them for also. Let's see. And then look at this. Look at the jackpot people. The little thing that you put as pumpkin stems or... Other things like that. You could use them for tree trunks. I got two of the little and long ones. And then I got one of the fat ones that could be used for tree trunks. So, that's... And they're called mixed or wood stems. This one is called, surprisingly, wood stems. So, I should have plenty enough of them to do this year and maybe even next year. Um, I got some of this, it looks like yellow and black, uh, glow in the dark basin line, but I think I'm going to try to make me a bow out of it and go on my latest project I'm working about. Didn't really have anything that would go with the colors, so I thought I would, would try this one. It's called glow in the dark mason line. Okay, and then I found these little pumpkins, or just little uh, old wolf pumpkins that I wanted to make a little wagon, so I think that'd be the perfect size to put in them. There's five of them in a pack. Okay, I think then it is on to, oh, I found this. I seen Julie off of Crafty Beach use this in her beach theme thing and we're going to be traveling to the beach in a couple weeks so I thought well I'll get one of these and maybe we can make a project out of it while we're down there that we can show you guys on YouTube or Facebook okay. found another leaf like I did like I made the sweater weather on not sure what I'm going to put on this one but I wanted to have another one so there you go. Okay, the rest, oh, this is that little um, burlap trim. Has three different designs in it. I thought that would be pretty for a fall design. So, or even Thanksgiving design. So, we've got those. Next, we're going to switch off into Halloween. I was down there, I didn't have very many Halloween window clings, um, so I picked me up a few. I picked up this one, it says, first one says, I'll be back, see you later, with an 8 and a T and an R, double, double toil and trouble, the witch is in, pick your poison, we all go a little mad sometimes, and that is true. Well, that is true. Everybody does that. And R.I.P. Real, really, really old. <laughs> That's cute. Really old. Not sure what I'm going to do with them just yet, but I thought they were cute. 
And then these are all kind of pumpkins also with sayings on them. Hocus Pocus, beware. But they got a little glitter. The glitter don't come off, but it's got a little glitter um, undertow under it. So that was pretty cool. I thought those were cute. Then I got this one. This one also has a little bit of glitter on it. This is Trick or Treat, Happy Halloween, It's Halloween, Be Scary. So you must probably see some of these coming up on the Halloween DIYs next month. And then this one just simply says Trick or Treat. I want to find me a board big enough to put that on and make me a sign for my front door. Then I was able to find some little cat cutouts. I didn't have any of those, so I found those down there. I found me a little ghost. Some bats. Although I would have rather had black than purple, but purple was what I found. Look, I found skeleton faces. A lady and a man. I'm going to take some of those little jewels I got and decorate them up. Maybe paint their faces white and the rose and the hat, different colors. And then put those little jewels on them. I think they'll be cute. This one is another one of those that I'll probably put together. I don't care much for the string hanging down on stuff. But that one says, Happy Halloween, Home Sweet Haunted Home. That's, that's cute. I found some little wooden ghosts. You can take the, they have little paper, uh, clothespins on them. You can take those off and just use the little ghosts as part of your scene. Then I found these, I guess they're little syringes. I bought them not to do a craft with, but if you have to fill a little bottle, like if I do the, the little um, mixture and the little concoction bottles, uh, I could use that to put it in and not make a big mess across my table. Found little spiders. They're little spider rings is what they are. But look at the little jewels in them. Look how cute. That is really adorable. And then I found some skeleton heads. Might mix them in a in a haunted house scene. And of course, here is the skeletons. I'm gonna try to rearrange them to where that we can put them. Where it's hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And then maybe do no evil. I don't know. There's three of them. There's four of them. So i got to find something for the fourth one. Maybe I'll put him in a different one. But there's those. And then we found these two ribbons. This one has little black bats on it. Isn't that adorable? That is adorable. I might put that on my wreath I'm making. And this one has little witch's hat. Little fun looking witches hats. No scary. I don't really do scary. I'll do borderline, but not really scary. Like I think I'm going to try to do something for Hocus Pocus. But I'm also going to do something, or try to do something. Don't hold me to them. Depends on the time frame. But like Charlie Brown. Um, things like that. Different. They're spooky, but not scary. I don't much for the scary anymore used to be in the day I was crazy about scary but not anymore okay now we're going to go on to things some stuff I found for doing Thanksgiving DIYs this you cannot smell this but if you go to Dollar Tree look up it is French toast and pumpkin butter pretty color it'll set all on by itself you don't even have to light this bad boy. You can set it in a bathroom, um, anywhere, in a car with the lip. It smells. You all should be able to smell it. So, uh, go to the store, pick one up, and smell it. You will love it. And not to mention, you get these little jars that has labels, I mean, uh, measurements on them. So you'll be able to reuse them afterwards. And this one... Is harvest berry. It smells like berries. It's not near as good as the uh, French toast and pumpkin butter, but it's still nice. 
And so I like the pumpkin butter so well that I've got a collection of fragrances now. Um, I got two of the French toast and pumpkin butter. That way I can put it in my little whatever it's called that um, you put it in and it steams up. And then this one is the harvest berry. So I've got all those ready to go. I got me a turkey and a turkey. I can put happy Thanksgiving on it. I can decorate it up, put little stuff in there. I just wanted to have something for Thanksgiving. And I found these. I found these at um, the Dollar Tree in Fayetteville because I went over there on Friday. Um, but I didn't do a haul on it. But I wanted to include these in case anybody's looking. These are were at the Dollar Tree in Fayetteville. One a pecan pie and pumpkin pie. And they also had cherry pie. I'm not a big fan of cherry pie. But I do love a good pumpkin pie and a good pecan pie. And this pecan recipe does not call for cinnamon. So I might try that recipe. Usually I, I can't eat it. But now the pumpkin pie unfortunately does. And since I'm allergic to cinnamon, I won't be eating that. Alright guys, that's the first store in the haul. I'm going to put you on pause while I move this stuff. And come back and set up to do the second store haul. Guys, I'm back. That was the Dollar Tree store in South Charleston. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the Dollar Tree store in Bell. Charleston, the regular Charleston store will come in a minute. I didn't get too much at Bell because I got so much everywhere else. But I did get this, like a wall decor. I'm going to try to put it up on the wall in the living room and then I found some wooden spoons they're wooden spoons forks and knives I thought they were cute I think I've got a project in mind for them been looking for them for a while then I got this thing for and blessed that's just a nice size pumpkin even if you didn't want to use that you want to use that for Thanksgiving you could make a design on this side do whatever you wanted to, Halloween or fall, or whatever, and then when Thanksgiving comes, just turn it over, and it's ready. This one already has paper coming off of it. I'm going to turn that into a sign for my uh, apple coffee tray. It says fresh, "Farm Fresh and Blessed," and it's got little apples on it. But I'll probably put something different on it when I do it. This is just a piece. Looks like shiplap. Um, has wallpaper, it's peel and stick, removable, and fashionable. So you can make it on a, put it on a, a background for a sign, a pumpkin, uh, your wall if you want to make your wall decor. It just comes in that type of sheet right there. These I got to, I'm working on my coffee bar, I've already got my little glass jars up, so I want to put like coffee, creamer, tea, whatever I've got in it on those. I've got a little white uh, paint pen that I bought at I think Ben Franklin so I'm going to try that out on these. I'll show you what they look like after I get done. And these is another one of my candy corn things I'm going to do something with. We bought this ribbon. It is the burlap with a little bit of lace on it. Really pretty ribbon. It is um nine feet three yards a burlap ribbon with lace on it and then we to go to the beach this year we're taking a couple grandson great grandsons so we picked them up some toys that just papa did this it's just a frisbee little sand castle toy with a little rake and shovel and i'm not sure what that other thing is but it oh, a little turtle it looks like all cute um, and then we got the sifter for the sand, also with a little rake and shovel. So the boys won't fight over it. And then, of course, everybody that goes to the beach has to have a sand bucket. And you know what? When boys don't want to play in the sand, Grandma will use it to pick up shells and rocks. Do a project, please. Okay, and the other things we picked up. Oh, I've got one 
of these pumpkins. Look how cute. I mean, that is just adorable. And the best part about it is it lights up. There's nothing you should... I might put a different ribbon on top. I'm not a big fan of that ribbon. But I might put a different ribbon or leaf or something on top of it. But isn't that cute? That is just in the decor section. Uh, Halloween decor section or fall one. I think we found it in the Halloween section. But isn't that cute? You don't have to worry about adding your own little light or nothing. It just lights. It's just there. And then Timmy picked up a couple of paracords. Or, uh, if we need to set up a tarp or anything somewhere, he's got it. And I got some scratchers. I seen a lady using them on her paint after she painted it. She scuffed it down with this instead of using sandpaper and made this the, uh, I'm assuming it made the paint blend better. But anyway, that was all we got from the Dollar Tree Bell store. So I'm going to pause you long enough to set up the last one. Guys, this is the last Dollar Tree haul. Sneak in the thing that we did at Michael's right at the end of all this so that you'll know. Yes, we enjoy craft shopping and yes, my husband loves me dearly. And I love him. Okay, so the first thing when I walked into the store, I seen they had these finals, which is normally cost you $1.25. They were on sale for 50 cents a piece. So I ended up getting three purples they had purple blue and um well look at that it's got the color of it at the bottom of the purple ones uh blue and yellow so i got two of the yellows three of the purples and three of the blue so those are the ones that i've got i didn't have the blue and I don't think I had the purple, but I'd have to look and see. I've got a lot of vinyl, but you can use vinyl to put on your projects. And at 50 cents a thing for, what, 48 inches? That's a lot. That's four feet of vinyl by 12 inches tall by 48 inches long. You can do some good stuff. Or you can make, you don't want to use it for the vinyl. Um, which is e really easy. You put it on, put a little bit of Mod Podge over top of it, and you got a good, good thing. You could also use it for uh, stencil make. It makes good stencils, so you could do that too. We decided we were going to get these. Well, these little lights right here are for pumpkins, but they light up. Not sure we're going to use them, but we're going to try. And then I got these two wood rounds. Look at this. Somebody, somebody's kicked up in gear outside. Sorry about that, guys. We live on a road where people love to ride their motorcycles and their four wheels. Anyway, here is one of the wood rounds. I got two of them. So I can make, but I'm also going to paint. I'm thinking about painting one of these signs. I got Happy Halloween. Let's put it up there where you can see. Happy Halloween with bats on it. And I also got this haunted house with bats on it. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. But I'm going to paint one of them and put it on this with the painted background. So the painted background will show through everything. But that's what I plan on doing. Next thing I got. got these little... Um, I guess they're little party bowls with the little curved edges on them. I'm hoping I can take them apart and stick them in together, you know, offset, and make a little pumpkin out of it. With all that cute little design on it, that should make a really, really pretty pumpkin. If I get it together, that'll be on the next live. I got these two things of mesh. This one has leaves on it. And this one is black with little orange spider webs. I've got ideas for both of those too. I got another thing of chalk markers. I don't know whether I'll use these or the, the other shaped ones, but I've got them. 
been looking for them for a while since I bought the jars. I could make them out of my Cricut stuff. That wouldn't be a problem. But I said, you know, this way I can just peel them back off again and put me on some new ones for either for the season or they're clear glass so I could use the wet hay. I could use the window clings on it and then use that to, just to let you know what's in the jar. This is a mat. I'm assuming it's a bath mat. This is what it says. It's a bath mat. But I'm going to take it. And I've got another it, the blank pumpkin thing. But I'm going to try cutting it down and gluing it on that and then painting it. Wouldn't that be a pretty pumpkin? Pretty um, one with a design on it. I'll let you see how it turns out. I just like to fill that, but it would not keep you safe in a bathtub. Do not use it as a bath mat. That's not, I mean, look how it's sliding around. So if you had a slick bathtub floor, that would not be good. So, I see everybody using picture frames to do different projects. So I thought, well, I'll get a couple, make a couple little signs out of. So just cheap little dollar store picture frames. I have a lot of balloons out there, but I didn't think I had any orange ones. So I picked these orange ones up in case I want to make some of my marshmallow people. I don't know. You know I got them. And then Timmy found these. They're also 12 inch, but they have little faces on them. So I'm going to try those, see what happens. Might be able to do something different with them. And then, at that same place where I found all that vinyl, look at these little um, banners that they had there. This goes back through there. But. Anyway, look at that. You can do all kinds. You can paint them. I've seen them paint them. I've seen them put vinyl on it, lettering, stencils, whatever. But they were 50 cents a piece. So, of course, me, I got four of them. So, we'll see what I do with them. Okay. I've seen these the last time I went to Dollar Tree Store. And I thought, what do I need with a football wreath for them? And then I thought, well, I could do a Super Bowl special. A bunch of Super Bowl crafts. So, stay tuned for January or February, whenever the Super Bowl is this year. And see what I come up with with this football wreath. Halloween. I got some really cute little bows with skeleton heads on them for decorating my crafts with. Got some little bats, just like with the little ghosts I had a while ago. I can take the little uh, clothespins off of them and uh, then just decorate the little bats either side of them. Eyeballs. Look at the red eyeballs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I might paint them and make me a, a uh, Hocus Pocus cauldron out of them. I've seen a lot of people do that too. Then I got, anytime you're at Dollar Tree store and you can find stuff that is put together with these um, ribbon, get them. Because now you have five different things to use versus buying one. They're smaller, I'll give you that. But you can find a lot of things to do with five little small things. These just happen to be skeleton heads. Already decorated up skeleton heads. I don't even have to do it. And this, I walked past this in the store. As with usual, as everybody that knows me. I got a little tug on the back of my shoulder. And they said, you forgot something. So I always say that's Kelly talking to me. It used to be Grandma Hankins. And it might still be Grandma Hankins. She was always my family tree person, but it could be grandma. Could be a combination of both of them. Anyway, I went back and got this. This will show up somewhere in the next live. Not this one coming up, but the next one. Then I found these little letters. It's just two pieces of, with a home word on them, but they are super thick. Let me open them up and show you. Look how 
thick that is. That'd go good on a little sign. Just paint it up. That'd be pretty. I hadn't seen those. So this is all from the Dollar Tree at Charleston. And then I found this little mold. I'm sure it's for baking cook cupcakes or something with. But I'm gonna try me some of my air dry clay and put in there and see if I can make me some air dry clay things. Stay tuned for that. Not sure how well it's gonna work. If it don't, I'll show you the flop. So this has a pumpkin, a skeleton, a bat, and a ghost. Four little things for a dollar twenty-five. And that's all of the crafty stuff. But I did pick up, just loved it, this little train. Isn't that cute? You can put it on a kid's wall, or maybe I'll make a wall hanging of it. I'm not sure, but it's really cute. It's really, really, really cute. So we'll see what happens. And then those five shelves that I told you about during my last YouTube video. I had five, five shelf bookshelves. Two of them are black, and that is so dark in my house. So I thought I would try some of this contact paper that I got at the uh, dollar store. I thought I would try some of that and see if I can't make it either on the shelf or on the back of the shelf so that it lightens up a little bit. Hopefully it works. I got three of them. Well, so far that takes care of all of the Dollar Tree haul. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you for a minute and then I'll set off the Michaels haul. Okay, guys, for our final haul today, I went to Michaels. Um, I went looking for cutouts. First, I didn't find any and then I found a lot. These are just butterfly cutouts. I'm thinking each one of them was two, two these were maybe $1.99. I got the butterflies, the little wooden blocks. There's 16 pieces in that. In this one, there is, it makes a banner. Oh, wow, it makes a banner. So I think there's like eight or 10 pieces in that one with the butterflies. There are 16 pieces in these little wood rounds. I thought they'd be good for Christmas. And there are 36 pieces in these little tags. You could make individual little tags for all of your family. And don't quote me on it, but I'm thinking they were $1.99 each. I think that's what the little tag out front said. And then I found these uh, cookie cutters. This is a little haunted house. I intend to make... Uh, Roll out some of my air dry clay and make me some haunted houses and some goats and let them dry. And then I found in the clearance section, always check out the clearance section. Sometimes they have something, sometimes they don't. Most stores, if you're looking in the actual clearance section, the prices are not really clearance that much. But uh, this was regularly $5.49 each of them. Uh, they're on sale for two dollars with embossing powder. So I'm going. To, this is going to be my try. I'm going to try to do the embossing powder. I'm going to do me a couple of YouTube videos and try to do the embossing powder. And the last two things I picked up at, um, well, several things, but well, I picked these little stamps up. I've got a bunch of them, but. I love these little stamps because they're so crisp. You can just do it over and over again. They're so little you can put them anywhere. Kids can play with them. You don't have to worry about them getting destroyed. They're just really good little wooden blocks. This one has an array from ghosts, cats, candy, skeletons, trick-or-treat signs, spiders, all that kind of good stuff. And they were on sale for $5.99. If you bought one, you got one half off. So, I, you know, you got, buy one, you get one, I think. It, I think it might be buy one, get one half off. But this is all about Halloween. This one says, Hey there, pumpkin. Ghoul, ghoul gang. I, it's to die for. A pumpkin, a witch's hat, an eyeball, a haunted house, bats, a moon, and a spider web. All kind of goodies in that one. 
And then, as I was getting ready to leave, wouldn't you know, my cutout. So I already had all this stuff picked up and picked out, and I found my cutouts. They're in individual little tiny boxes, which is cool. You can just stack them on top of each other. Label the front of them, what you got, just stack them away. This one is all about ghosts. Different things for ghosts. This one has birds and skeletons and spiders and spider webs. This one has hats, witches hats, cats, words, spoons, cauldrons, all the like. And this one is nothing but pumpkins. All different kind of pumpkins. Just think what we can do with those. So, that concludes the haul. I did forget one thing in the uh, Dollar Tree haul from, I'm pretty sure it was Belle, where I picked these up. They have magazines, regularly $4.99 magazines for $1.25. This is full of 48 holiday ideas, which I'm going to read and see what I can come up with. And this one was all about canning and fermenting. So, you know, Manny's really into canning and Janet Kay, so I thought, well, I'm going to get this book and read up on it and see see if I can get in doing some stuff. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. It was a long one. I promise the next time it will not be so long. But he just wanted to take me out and have a good day together, so that's what we did. hope you all had a good time watching. I hope you make some suggestions of what you would like to see me work with first or what you would like for me to do before for the hot you know so that i can get it ready for the holiday season and if you have any suggestions of stuff that's coming up for halloween or thanksgiving or christmas that you'd like me to work on that might be more detailed please let me know a few weeks in advance so i can get that all the stuff together to do it with and hang around for in the coming few days or maybe the first part of next week i hope to have a thrift haul available for you so we can see you can see what we've picked out um, to try to do something with. And then we'll do a second video on what we did with it. You all have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching. And hope that you come back soon and see us. Remember this Thursday, September the 8th, is our live at 7 o'clock on Kincaid Special Creations on Facebook. Y'all have a great day. And thank you.